So like whenever, you know, Quinn saves his career down there and turns everything around, he's backwards hat guy, and he's got that defense from 32 to 18, right? They weren't even like top 10. 32 to 18, they're like, ah, get this guy in the Hall of Fame, basically, you know, because it is the Dallas Cowboys. And then Kellen Moore, what do you think needs to happen about the situational shit, though? Hey, there's a lot of decisions that are being made in very well, crucial points. How do you get better at that? You think that's McCarthy? You think it's Kellen? Do you think it's Dak? How do you get better at that? Man, I, I don't know how, but they must get better. Must. You know, and, yeah. and, and, and I can't take it. And, and Mike McCarthy, man, he, he tries to come and sell this stuff to us. Well, we, we got down in there, and when we got down up in the ozone, what the hell is an ozone? Man, like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Man, just <laughs> call the time out. out. Yeah. Get Save one throw to the end zone, and then we don't get it, we kick the field goal. Don't come out here and try to skedazzle us with some new <laughs> word that we never heard on a football field like an ozone. You know, that's the kind of stuff that they got to get past. But I, I believe the Cowboys have enough talent that, that – if, you, if, if you're putting up points on offense like they did early on in the season last year and they continue to do that, then we can mitigate some of these issues right here. No doubt they have to get better at them. But right now, if you can, you, you can put up on the points, you can mitigate them. And stop telling me, this is not, another problem with the NFL. Everybody always wants to say, well, let's get rid of them and get somebody else. Get who? Get what? Let me get the, the, top, the top 33 hardest jobs in this world are, number one, I'm going to give it to POTUS, but two to 33 are NFL head coaches. Who the hell you going to get? Get who? You see what I'm saying? Hey, listen, I, I believe there's probably some surgeons and brain surgeons and heart surgeons. Yeah, yeah, that... yeah, yeah. Right after 33. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Michael, I hate to bring it up, but obviously the notorious QB draw to end the season happened. Uh, what did you do when you saw that? Did you destroy everything in the living room or wherever you watch it? And will that ever happen again, or is that just the worst play in the history of the NFL? What, what do you mean, a QB draw? Yeah, uh, I guess the uh, Niners. Uh, when he ran into the yeah. like the ref but, when he Debo Dak there a little bit. That yeah. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I mean, you say, oh, oh, the last play for the Dallas Cowboys. It wasn't a bad play. It was just executed poorly. Of course. It wasn't a bad. Oh. It was executed poorly. So, so it wasn't a bad thought, I should say. Yeah. Just executed poorly. You see, because if they could have gotten, he's right. And that's another thing that he tricked us with, right? Talking about, well, <laughs> we just think it's better to have two throws, uh, to get a throw, a good throw. From, 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 from the 25-yard line, you know, throw from the 41-yard. Yeah, we do too. Everybody believes that. But but what is it going to cost you to get to the 25-yard line? And it cost us those 13 seconds. <laughs> Don't try to trick us with that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, there's Don't, a, a everybody one. Everybody wants that. Yeah, everybody hey, wants it. But what did it cost us to get there? And it cost us the game. Hey, one throw is better than... You know, just no zero throw. throw. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> hey, this is like the classic. Hey, this is the analytics folks who say like six points is more than three points. It's like, well, three points, more, more, more than zero points. I mean, there is. It seems like those stats never really get brought up. Hey, Mike, AJ Hawk here. So the Cowboys next year, what are your thoughts? We, we thought they may lose both of their coordinators. Both of them turn out they're going to be back. Are, like, are you? Are your expectations pretty high on what Mike McCarthy and this team is going to do? Hey, what's up, man? How you just gonna come up and say my age, you holy? You know, like, you know, <laughs> hey, that face too, Irvin. You know. Hey, that big jaw. You know who the hell that yeah. is, man? Like that? Like we ain't never told us something before, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've done some stuff with you at NFL Network. I was telling some of these guys earlier how impressed I was watching you in person, in studio, just absolutely kill it. So I, I always love and respect what you do, Mike. Well, I, I appreciate that, man. Let me tell you something. AJ. It would trips me out. And I was talking about this Monday. I like okay. Everybody talked about the Cowboys were going to lose, maybe lose both of their coordinators, right? Because they were hot commodities out in the market. And then when the Cowboys, when they both, when they all came back, everybody started saying, "Oh, this is a good thing that they got them both back." Because you know what they say, it's insanity to do the same thing and expect a different result. I said, "Are you joking? Are you joking? Only with the Dallas Cowboys can you get both coordinators back." And they turn that into a, a bad story. Oh, it's come on. Come on. Try. A bad, wait, at one point, at one point, they, they, they had number one offense. They finished the season with the number two offense in total offense, number one in scoring offense. They were the number one turnover defense. These coordinators produced those things. Now, yes, they lost in the playoffs after winning 12 games. This is not you bring those guys back. And you move forward, you try to add a few pieces here and there, and you try to get over the hump next year. 
that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Only the people try to make it a bad thing. It is what I call the people with the S.A. syndrome. It's a Stephen A. Smith syndrome. I call it the S.A. syndrome. No matter what, the Cowboys go all in their mind, the Cowboys are always bad players. That's just that S.A. syndrome. Hey, so. that S.A. syndrome, though. In Texas, when he came out with that cowboy hat, oh, yeah. oh Come my! On. That just go crazy. Oh, <laughs> what an amazing moment there! Uh, but whenever you're talking about the Dallas Cowboys and people turning it into a negative, they always talk about everything the Dallas Cowboys do.